Oh, Kelly, I'm so glad you're here. We're gonna rock these Asian Excellence Awards. I know, I am so excited about tonight, especially after receiving my Remy Martin XO honor last year. But didn't you just love getting that award? I never got an award. It's nice just to be nominated though, right? I wasn't nominated for anything. Oh, Bobby, no, don't. You're really funny and, and, and talented. Really? Look at it this way. Almost half the world's population is Asian. And so that's a lot of excellence to choose from. Half the world, really? Yeah, but how would you ever know? Not from watching TV. You're right, those stupid Hollywood writers. Why can't they represent? Can you imagine TV with true diversity? If reality shows actually kept it real? Yeah. <laughs> All of you are terrific. But after searching my heart, I know who I want to spend the rest of my life with. No, not her. She's not good enough for you. <laughs> Excuse me? Her cooking is horrible. All she can do is order takeout. <laughs> Mom, you're embarrassing me. This is TV. She's too skinny, too trashy. This one can't clean. Oh, you can't sew. Oh, why won't you meet Mr. Lee's daughter? She's a doctor. Mom, this is my life. My life. Oh, Stop that. Oh. 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 Help. Help. God, I never thought about it like that. Could you imagine Asians playing more than math geeks and computer nerds? You know, like sexy roles. Cool roles. Yeah. So tell me what you don't like about yourself. Is it your eyes? Oh, uh, no. Your nose? No, 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 no. I'm worried about my, um, my length. Bobby, size doesn't matter. That's what you all say, but when it comes down to it, yes, it does. I mean... Look, just show me. What, right now? I'm a doctor. All right. Doc, you have to help me. I can't live like this. I'm a man, not a horse. I wouldn't change a thing. <laughs> hey, Bobby. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Isn't it cool that this show is going to be televised for the first time? I mean, it's their biggest show ever. And we can do anything we want. Anything? Looking good is not the only important thing to becoming a top model. You have to be in control of your image. You have to know what looks good and what doesn't. Now today's challenge is a photo session where you have to choose your own outfits. Models, bling it on. Yeah, that's what I'm talking. oh yeah. Awards. We should probably go and get ready. Baby, I am ready. <laughs> From the historic Wiltern LG in Los Angeles, it's the 2006 Asian Excellence Awards. Hosted by Kelly Hu and Bobby Lee. Starring Keiko Agena, Jackie Chan, Lin Chen, John Cho, David Chu, Stephen Chow, Danny DeVito, Ray Fine. Vivica A. Fox. Beautiful gowns and diamonds. My kind of a night. Joe Hahn. Dr. David Ho. Amy Hill. Carrie Annie Nava. James Ivory. Irvin Magic Johnson. Nancy Kwan. Ravi Kapoor. Daniel Day Kim. Yoon Jin Kim. Michelle Cruchet. If I wasn't wearing this dress, I'd break it down. Sharon Leo. Jason Scott Lee. Rex Lee. Bai Ling. Lisa Ling. Lucy Liu. Ralph Macchio. Yao Ming. Harminder Nagra. Grace Park, Rhea Perlman, Harold Perrineau, Lou Diamond Phillips. Girls, don't do this at home. Lindsay Price, Maggie Q, Natasha Richardson, Rob Schneider, James Shigeda, Mike Shinoda, Quentin Tarantino, Johnny Toe, Tamlin Tamita. Welcome to the Asian Excellence Awards. Naomi Watts, Jerry Yang, and Carl Yoon. With performances by Fort Minor, Pa by Cirque du Soleil, Karen Hahn, and the Broadway show Lennon. And I'm your announcer, Diane Mizoda. 
Please welcome your hosts, Kelly Hu and Bobby Lee. What? Welcome to the 2006 Asian Excellence Awards. 1.3 billion Chinese, 126 million Japanese, 227 million Indonesians. Okay, I think we get it. I haven't gotten to Korea yet. <laughs> In a world of six billion people, nearly half of them are Asian. Let's face it, you'll find us everywhere. That's right, I'm your worst nightmare, a rice eater with an award show. <laughs> but we're not here tonight to get on a soapbox. Speak for yourself, you too tall woman. <laughs> We are here to celebrate excellence, something that isn't easy to find. But tonight, all you have to do is look at the people you'll meet here on stage. All of our honorees define excellence, Asians or otherwise. Their achievements in arts, science, and entertainment are an inspiration to not only Asian Americans, but are a vital and vibrant part of America. So here to present tonight's first awards are two past honorees. Wait, 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 wait. Past honorees? Does everyone have an award but, but me? Bobby, just leave it, okay? Please welcome past honorees, <laughs> Lou Diamond Phillips and Bai Ling. Bai Ling, yes. you are looking lovely tonight. You too. Thank you, oh, thank you. Listen, are you going to sing like you did on that TV show? That was the uh, singing, right? Of course. Ready? One, two, three. Actually, um, don't worry. I'm not going to sing tonight, and I promised I'll keep my dress on. That's not a long walk by. Yeah, the yin and the yang. Well, it really is great to be back at the Asian Excellence Awards, and uh, we're here to present the award for Outstanding Female TV Performance. And outstanding is the right word for tonight's remarkable group of nominees. Outstanding female television performance. Yoon Jin Kim, Lost. I've been going in a few days, and I'm told. I'm sick of everyone saying he's all right. He's not all right. Kristen Crook, Smallville. Clerks care so many things that I haven't told you. The past can't hurt us anymore. You're right. Parminder Nagra, ER. He asked me to marry you. You looked into my eyes and asked me to be your wife. I mean, what the hell was all that, a whim? Sandra O, oh, Grey's Anatomy. I can do hot in my sleep. I'm not cotton scrubs. I'm a hot person. Asian Excellence Award for Outstanding Female Television Performance goes to by... Sorry. No, go right You take it off whenever you want to. Can you show me first? As a gentleman, I certainly would. Jun Jin Kim. Wow, I'm, uh, I don't know what to say. I'm really, really honored. Um, this is really totally unexpected, and um, I'm really lost. I don't know what to say. Um, thank you very much. Uh, I really feel like I don't deserve this, and I'm not being humble and Asian about it, because I feel like I had the luxury of working out in Korea for the last seven years, and I, felt like, I feel like I haven't paid my dues. But... Um, just sitting out here, it's, it's very inspiring, and I'm probably the least qualified person to say this, but um, please let's not wait another 20 years for another Joy Luck Club or The Last Emperor or another 10 years for Memoirs of a Geisha. Um, there's such amazing talents I see tonight, and uh, let's tell our stories, and, and, and let's not wait for Hollywood to determine when it's our time. Um, and please, let's do those great projects 
when I get killed off from Lost and when I lose my tan. Thank you very much. Our next presenter... Let me guess, another past honoree. Actually, no, he's never won an Asian Excellence Award. Oh. <laughs> but he does have an Olympic gold medal. Oh. And uh, five NBA championships. Oh, that's just showing off, you know. He's a Hall of Famer, a three-time MVP, a 12-time All-Star, and those are just his accomplishments on the court. Off the court, he's a successful businessman and community leader. With the help of Remy Martin, his foundation provides much-needed support to minority communities. Here to present the Remy Martin EXO Inspiration Award, please welcome Irvin Magic Johnson. Thank you. And this award was created to recognize role models who have used their talents to better the lives of others. And I can't think of anyone who is more deserving of this honor. I've known Dr. Ho for over 10 years now. The man is not only a dedicated and caring doctor, but truly a dear, devoted friend. When I was diagnosed with HIV, the number of HIV-related cases were skyrocketing at a rate of 60 percent, and time was running out, not only for me, but for the world. Here's a young man who helped save my life and others, and um, I owe him a lot. And at the time when many had begun to give up hope, Dr. Hope delivered. He inspired us then, and he continues to inspire us now. Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome, or AIDS. Officials say the number of victims has doubled every six months since 1978. When AIDS first appeared, nobody knew that it would become one of the worst global epidemics in recorded history. But one young scientist joined the front lines in the war against the deadly disease. His name is Dr. David Ho. I bumped into the early AIDS cases almost by accident. Back in Los Angeles in late 1980, I wanted to know what was going on, and I've stayed with this problem ever since then. After over a decade of research, Dr. Ho discovered that a combination of drugs could slow the progression of the disease. The HIV cocktail, as it became known, was the first viable treatment strategy against AIDS. And Dr. Ho was honored as Time Magazine's 1996 Man of the Year. Dr. Ho is someone that, um, through a lot of hard work and a lot of research, changed the way how AIDS as a disease was treated. And he really is responsible in many, many ways to saving hundreds of millions of lives over the next decades or so. That is an awesome achievement. Understanding that AIDS is the fastest growing public health issue in China, Dr. Ho co-founded the China AIDS Initiative, which spreads awareness and treatment to China's general population. He, of course, has teamed up with uh, President Clinton to go to China and to really bring the Chinese government to be much more aware and also be open-minded about the AIDS epidemic issue in China. Last summer, we, uh, we have a chance to work together in Beijing. We bring a couple of kids who, because AIDS, lost their parents. And we used their story and try to tell the rest of the people life is very important. To help remove the stigma against AIDS in China, Dr. Ho enlisted basketball superstars Yao Ming and Magic Johnson to record a series of public service announcements. AIDS has killed over 25 million people during the past quarter century. But thanks to Dr. David Ho, millions more will live. I can't think of a, a more suitable person to get the Inspiration Award because Dr. Ho represents what an individual can do to literally save the world in so many different ways. One man can change so many things, and, and, and he did. I'm sad to say that this epidemic will be with us uh, for several generations to come. And I guess I like to be remembered as somebody who made a difference.
for you. So it is my greatest pleasure to present you this year's Remy Martin XO Honor for Inspiration. But also, I want to say thank you for saving my life and saving many other people's lives. This man means a lot to you in the Asian community, but he means a lot to others in other communities as well. And I just want to say from the bottom of my, of my heart, thank you and continue to do what you do. And I love you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Magic, for being here. It's, it's a great honor that you could present this award to me. Uh, let me thank uh, Remy Martin, Comcast, and AXA for, for this great recognition. Uh, of course, in ceremonies like this, I should thank my colleagues as well, past and present, and of course my family who have been so supportive all these years. My parents and my wife are here with me along with my brothers. It is almost the 25th anniversary of HIV AIDS. For many patients, they suffered a decade of horror and disappointment until the life-saving medications came along in the mid-1990s. And the result is exemplified by Magic, who's standing here. I'm gratified that I was able to make a contribution along that line. But despite all the advances, all of you know that this epidemic rages on, now infecting cumulatively 70 million, and it's likely to exceed 100 million in, 10 years, in five years' time. So we got to carry on. The battle uh, needs to continue uh, making vaccines and public health measures, as you saw on the screen, where I could take some of the work to developing countries including the land of my heritage. And that, of course, is particularly gratifying. But many of you are wondering why a scientist is at an award ceremony like this. When you figure that out, please tell me. But I'm, <laughs> I'm really pleased to be here, and I thank all of you. The 2006 Asian Excellence Awards is brought to you in part by the Taiwan Visitors Association. Dr. Ho is a special man, and he's affecting change and saving lives around the world. So that's it. I love him. The stars are out tonight. Coming up, Lindsay Price and John Cho, Michelle Kruzik and Carl Yoon, a sexy fashion show, and then a rockin' performance from Fort Minor. Plus, stay tuned for Lucy Liu, Quentin Tarantino, Rob Schneider, and all of Asia's hottest exports when the 2006 Asian Excellence Awards continue. Nominees for Outstanding Style Maker are three of the fashion industry's most prominent designers. Our first nominee left behind a career in investment banking to pursue a life in fashion. Combining the delicate craftsmanship and fabrics from her native Philippines with a sophisticated modern flair, she transformed lingerie from underwear to fashion statement. Ladies and gentlemen, the fashion of Josie Natori.
John, did you enjoy that lingerie show? Um, I have never been more proud to be Asian. <laughs> oh, that boy. <laughs> That's a little weird. Come on, I think we have to do this. Okay. And now from Harold and Kumar and the upcoming American Dreams, John Cho, and from the new series Pepper Dennis, Lindsay Price. Good evening. It's great to be here at the Asian Excellence Awards and see so many familiar and, yes, Asian faces. Mm. The lovely Lindsay and I are here to present the award for Outstanding Film Performance. Your outstanding four nominees come from three fine films that all have one thing in common. I was not in them. Outstanding film performance. Joan Chen, Saving Face. Stephen Chow, Kung Fu Hustle. Michelle Krushik, Saving Face. Kiss me in front of all these people. Vivian, I love you. Gong Li, Memoirs of a Geisha. I have given you my life. Right. Who paid for the silk on your back? And the winner is... Stephen Chow. Thank you so much. I'm sorry I can't be there in person tonight, but I'm very honored to receive an Asian Excellence Award. I'd like to thank the AXA committee to selecting me as Best Actor, and AZN Television, and the entire cast and crew of Kung Fu Hustle. So once again, Thank you and good night. She stole your heart in Saving Face, and he stole Gong Li's heart in Memoirs of a Geisha. Let's hear it for Michelle Krushik and Carl Jung. Good evening. Linkin Park has become one of the defining musical groups of the 21st century. And rapper Mike Shinoda is one of the defining members of Linkin Park. Now with his bold rap project, Fort Minor, Mike is exploring territory close to home for this gifted musician of Japanese-American ancestry. Tonight, he's here to perform Remember His Name from the Rising Tide album, executive produced by Jay-Z. Ladies and gentlemen, remember this name, Fort Minor. All right, you guys. What we need to see right now is everybody in here, hands up. You ready? Let me see your hand up. Come on. Keep them up high, yo. I don't care how old you are. Get it up right now. Put them up, yo. Yeah. Put them up, yo. Put them up, yo. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we like to see. Keep them up. Put them up, yo. Yeah. Put them up, yo. Yeah. Put them up, yo. Yeah. That's what we like to see. Keep it up, yo. Yeah. Ten percent love and twenty percent skill. Fifteen percent concentrated power and will. Yeah. Five percent pleasure. Fifty percent pain. Reason to remember the name Mike He doesn't need his name up in lights He just wants to be heard Whether it's the beat of the mic He feels so unlike everybody else alone In spite of the fact Some people still think that they know him But no, he knows the code It's not about a salary It's all about reality And making some noise Making a story Making sure his click stays up That means when he puts it down Tries picking it up Let's go Who the hell is he anyway? He never really talks much Never concerned with status But still even a starstruck Humble through opportunities Given despite the fact that many misjudge Cause he makes a living from right to rap Put it together himself Got a picture connect Never asking for someone's help Hell, to get some respect He's only focused on what he wrote His will is beyond reach And now what all my foes Is here to rip our teeth This is 20% skill 80% fear Be 100% clear Cause right was still Who would've thought he'd be the one That set the West in flames Then I heard a record with the crystal meth The name of the game Came back, dropped mega death Took him to church I like bleach, man Why you had the stupidest verses, dude, is the truth Now everybody giving them guest spots Stocks to the roof, I heard he messing with S This is a 10% luck 
20% skill, 15% concentrated power and will, give up, 5% pleasure, 50% pain, 100% reason to remember the name, they call him Ryu, he's sick and he's spitting fire and might, got him out the dryer, he's hot, got him in for minor with shot, with a denial, his porcupine, he's a, oh, he's a, oh, the type, when we want to be with the rapper, so we set, shit, shit, sitting and making patiently waiting to blow, now the record okay. we should know this, taking over the globe, got a partner in crime, this stuff is equally dope, you listen, listen. The kind of stuff that comes out of this can't stop Jack, 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 He's at your every day on the block He knows how to work with what he's got Making his way to the top He don't think it's a comment on his name People keep asking him, what's it? Giving that bird that doesn't stand for an act with a no He's in the booth, with a rock in the booth He'll get you buzzing quicker than a shot of vodka with juice, juice Him and his crew are known around He's one of the best Dedicated to what they do and give a hundred percent Forget Mike, oh, nobody really Knows how why he works so hard It seems like he's never got time Because he writes every note And he writes every line And I've seen him at work But nothing like goes on in his mind It's like a design yeah. Written in his head every time Before he even touches the key Or sticks in a run And these other fellas he runs With the kids at his side Ridiculous Without even Come trying on. How yeah. did they do his job? 20% love And 20% skill 15% concentrated power and will yeah. 5% pleasure 50% pain And 100% you guys feel that? Make some noise. Thank you very much. Up next, ER's Parminder Nagra honors filmmaker Ishmael Merchant plus the award for Outstanding Newcomer. And later, Jackie Chan, Jason Scott Lee, and Ralph Macchio when the 2006 Asian Excellence Awards return. Our next presenters were, for decades, the only Asian faces to be seen on the Hollywood big screen. She starred opposite William Holden in the world of Susie Wong. He started with her in Flower Drum Song and was the only Asian American actor under studio contract as a romantic lead. Please welcome Nancy Kwan and James Shigeta. Come on. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Happy New Year, Gung He Fa Choi. And you look lovely as ever. And you're looking very dapper. Thank you. <laughs> I think we should get on with it because there must be some very anxious newcomers waiting backstage. You're right. It's a pleasure for us to present the Outstanding Newcomer Award. Outstanding Newcomer. Lin Chen, Saving Face. I really should eat better. How about this one? Sometimes your body knows what you really want. Rex Lee, Entourage. I swear to you that you will never again say anything offensive to me about my race or my sexual orientation. I can't swear to that, but I promise I will always apologize after. Katie Leung, Harry Potter, and the Goblet of Fire. Just wondering if you wanted to go to the ball with me. I'm sorry, but someone's already asked me. Well, I've, I've said I'll go. Grace Park, Battlestar Galactica. You said that humanity was a flawed creation. You said that humanity never asked itself why it deserved to survive. The outstanding newcomer is Lin Chan. I want to love you to every way. That it seems to be very often in the sick. The baby makes your heart come out and play forever down the day. I can't believe the way you make me feel. Suddenly, you turn it to me. Yay! Um, 
I'm sorry if I'm not very eloquent. Uh, I've never accepted an award except for um, most dangerous costume in 11th grade for the pajama game. So <laughs> thank you to my Saving Face family, um, especially Alice Wu, without who I wouldn't be here. It's just really nice to be up here in a room full of such talented people whose careers I've followed and obsessed over for years. So um, this makes me really happy. Thank you very much. Please welcome from Bend It Like Beckham and ER, Carminder Nagra. Tonight, it is my great honor to honor a man whose name has become synonymous with quality, the late, great Ismail Merchant. Born in Bombay, India, Ismail Merchant became a cinematic power on a truly global scale as one of our most inspired and inspiring producers. The body of work he created with his artistic partner, director James Ivory, during nearly half a century of collaboration remains simply stunning. Tonight, the Asian Excellence Awards honors one of the last of the great independents, Ismail Merchant. Ishmael, I think, had a fantastic enthusiasm for the making of a film, like a boyish delight in bringing all the parts of a film together. You have had a mistress. I forgave you. My sister has a lover. You drive her from the house. Why can you not be honest for once in your life and say to yourself, what Helen has done, I have done? But the very first film we made, The Householder, he seemed to have everything a producer ought to have. First of all, the, the love of the work. Just taste. Only once, huh? Ow! He never questioned the absolute necessity of getting the best technicians, the people that would have the most effect on the look of the film. So then, you would like a chair, the a chair. chair. He would get us locations that we had given up on. He was absolutely fearless in everything that he did in, in terms of a movie. Ismail and James had made about 40 films together by the time I worked with them. They worked so beautifully together, like two little peas in a pod. What are you going to do about makeup and hair with the, with the organist? I don't want to have any of this uh, beards and makeup. I can't stand it. <laughs> Ismail had a great sense of humor, very cheeky and mischievous. He was like a dad in a way. Ismail was just such a life force. He had so much energy and love of life. I'm not going to give you any more money at all. He was not a person who piled up big personal fortune. If, for instance, we were short of money, he would throw his whole salary into it. He might never get that back. He had a visceral delight in seeing all the bits of a movie come together and seeing it happen in front of the camera. And in that simple thing, I think you see the spirit of Ishmael. Excuse me, gentlemen, I'm just trying to find my way. Cheers, I got up. I think Ishmael's legacy would be the legacy of a great independent filmmaker, his passion for film, his determination to make the films that he wanted to make. Performance from Ka by Cirque du Soleil. Plus, Rex Lee and Lisa Ling present the award for Outstanding Film. Who will it be? Find out as the 2006 Asian Excellence Awards continue. For our next Style Maker nominee, it all started with a bad haircut. Wearing a hand feathered hat she'd made herself, this first generation Korean American took to the streets. And by the end of the day, store owners were clamoring to see her collection. Ladies and gentlemen, the fashion of Eugenia Kim.
here to present the award for Outstanding Film. Please welcome Lisa Ling and from Entourage, Rex Lee. So is that cognac just for look? No. Um, we love the movie. I'm going to interrupt you. I just want to acknowledge how beautiful Lisa Ling looks tonight. And uh, we did not coordinate, but we were feeling the green. Let's now let's go back to the telegram. Let's just hope we don't have a wardrobe malfunction. Uh. Anyway, um, as I was saying, we love the movies. We love everything about them. Through the magic of movies, we can be transported to Hong Kong in 1966 and 2046, or find ourselves fighting axe-wielding gang members in 1940s Shanghai. Visit a geisha house in Kyoto before World War II, or find true love at a Chinese social in Flushing, New York. Tonight's nominees took us to all of these places and so much more. They whisked us to worlds consumed by intrigue and lust, lives filled with love and laughter. Here are the nominees for Outstanding Film. Outstanding Film, 2046. Kung Fu Hustle. Memoirs of a Geisha. Hurry up! You are not making money standing there gawking at yourself. For luck! Saving face. I have a pregnant mother at home. I'd like to meet her. She's not ready. Tell her I'm a friend, a, a nice Chinese girl. You're not just a nice Chinese girl. I'll fake it. And the winner is Kung Fu Hustle. Accepting for Kung Fu Hustle is a man who's helped bring together Hollywood and the Far East, Sony Vice Chairman Gareth Wigan. I'm very honored to accept this award, receive this award on behalf of Stephen Chow and uh, the whole company that made the film. Uh, Stephen, of course, made most of it because he was both actor, writer, director, and producer. And this award will be particularly meaningful for him because it is as a filmmaker that Stephen most wants to make his mark in the world outside of Asia. I would like to make one point today. In the last seven years, four films have been produced in China which have grossed more than $100 million worldwide. No other country apart from America has produced more than one. I think this emphasizes the importance of the rapidly growing influence of Asian films in the West. And I think that everybody in this room and in this community should be very proud of the support that they have given to Asian films and continue to give to Asian films to achieve this critical point. So on behalf of all the people who made Kung Fu Hustle, I thank you for that, and I thank you very much for this. Thank you. Please welcome Ravi Kapoor and a woman who charmed the known universe in Battlestar Galactica, Race Park. Our next performance come to, comes to us from those ever-inventive artists at Cirque du Soleil, whose new theatrical experience combines martial arts, acrobatics, puppetry, pyrotechnics, and multimedia to tell a truly epic tale. They're nominated tonight for an outstanding, outstanding live performance. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the singular world of Ka. Ka is the story of twins who will take you on a journey in a way you've never seen before. Ka, the new epitale from Cirque du Soleil.
Maggie Q, Johnny Toe, and Jackie Chan honor Quentin Tarantino. And later, Ralph Macchio and Lucy Liu, all right here on the 2006 Asian Excellence Awards. Soon to be seen around the world, starring in Mission Impossible 3, please welcome one of Hong Kong's hottest exports, Maggie Q. Hi everyone. The Remy Martin Exo Bridge Award is given to recognize an individual whose efforts have helped to bridge an understanding between Eastern and Western cultures. This award is so big, it takes four of us to present it. So let's go right now to my hometown, Hong Kong, to check in with one of the biggest stars in the world, Jackie Chan. Greetings from Hong Kong. I'm so sorry I cannot be with you tonight because I have a very important job to do in Hong Kong right now because I'm starting my new movie. As you know, movie always the first. But I'm so happy to join you to celebrate the work of my best friend, Quentin Tarantino. Now, I don't think Tarantino is an Asian name, but I know when it comes to film, a big part of Quentin's heart and soul is Asian. His dedication and devotion to Asian cinema is legendary. And when you watch a film, you will see this. He is one of the most influential film directors of the past two decades. And when Quentin Tarantino looks for inspiration, he turns to Asian cinema. I could do a book on kung fu film directors, all right? I mean, you know, from the old school to now, all right? I know their names, I know their work. Action! I think it's one of the greatest genres of cinema that ever existed. <laughs> In his classic films Reservoir Dogs and Pulp Fiction, Tarantino's poetic imagery and kinetic action echo that of classic Hong Kong filmmakers, such as the Shaw Brothers, Wang Yu, and Jackie Chan. But the style is all his own. As a producer, Tarantino has used his influence to introduce his favorite Asian films to the masses. With his enthusiastic support, both Iron Monkey and Hero became instant hits with American audiences. Tarantino's love of martial arts cinema culminated in his most ambitious film to date, the critically acclaimed two-part kung fu epic, Kill Bill. <laughs> By bridging the worlds of Eastern and Western filmmaking, Quentin Tarantino has become one of the biggest champions of Asian cinema on the planet. And now to formally present the Bridge Award is one of the most successful directors the world has ever seen. With over 40 films to his name, he is the godfather of Action Cool. He's flown all the way from Hong Kong just for tonight. Here with his celebrity translator and my good friend, Rick Tan, please welcome the one and only, Johnny Toe. Good evening. As a movie person, you can see that Tyler Tino has a lot of movies, a lot of movies, and a lot of movies. I'm very happy. 咁亦都喺而家會見到好多導演咧，喺亞洲嘅導演咧，都好似係有似泰隆天奴先生嘅風格嘅。泰隆天奴先生嘅電影其實影響咗亞洲嘅電影好多好多。Well, we have seen a lot of、uh, Quentin Tarantino's film, and、uh, of course, Quentin Tarantino has a, seen a lot of Asian film, and at this juncture, we 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 will think that it's a good exchange of our、um, industry, and also we influence each other both ways. It is my honor to be sent the Remy Award to Mr. Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> You can get a hug from 
the tenth lady. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, sit down, oh. sit down. <laughs> thank you. First, uh, first, let me just thank everybody who was involved in giving me this award. The AXA, thank you very much. Remy Martin, thank you very much. This is so badass, I cannot wait to put it on my mantelpiece. When I saw the AIDS guy get this, I was like, hmm, I wonder if mine's gonna look like that. It's pretty good. I think you, only get, you have to be an AIDS scientist to get this, but apparently not. Uh, yeah. yeah, exactly, yeah. I haven't saved 25 billion people, all right? Uh, having said that, maybe I give you a good night of movies every Saturday. Uh, it's been my life's pleasure to kind of be conducting a, a graduate study for the rest of my life on cinema. I think I started it when I was about nine. I started my graduate study. But I can honestly say that in that graduate study work on the history of cinema of the planet Earth, it's been Asian cinema that's been one of the greatest joys of my life. Uh, if I could, some of the fantastic movies that I've seen by some of the great directors and the great actors and actresses that I've seen, if I could see it all over again, uh, if I could erase my memory and see it again for the first time, that would be the way to do it. Uh, there was two directors in particular that, that really influenced me. One was uh, the Japanese director, uh, Kinji Hukasaku, who is a magnificent director, did the film Battle Royale. Another director was the director, Shang She, who to me is the John Ford of Chinese cinema. He is the John Ford of, of, of Hong Kong. I had this one moment on making Kill Bill where it was like, a, it was a silly, it was, it was in, it's in the Asian cut, it's not in the American cut, but it was just one shot where Uma was gonna string her sword and there was a blood pack on a gal. And the camera's right here, the blood pack on a gal's throat. So the whole idea was like, Uma swings the sword like this. Shoom! And then like the, ah, oh, grabs the throat and then the blood squirts out this way. <laughs> so we're trying to do it. So naturally, every time she grabs the blood bag, the blood, goes up front. Doesn't do like this. Doesn't do what I want. It goes right down the front. You don't see shit. All right. So we're doing it again and again and again and again. All right. So now it's now take 25 and it hasn't worked. As I'm just starting to think, maybe I should move on. <laughs> I swear, Shang-Chi Talk to me. He said, Quentin, just keep doing it. It's bound to work out. <laughs> Hang in there. Don't move on. And in about four other shots, I got exactly what I wanted. Yeah. <laughs> and it was an incredibly meaningful moment to me to actually, I don't know if it happened but as far as I'm concerned, it did happen. So I want to thank the AXA. I want to thank Remy Martin. I really want to thank Johnny Toe for coming all the way down here. This is like one of the greatest action directors the world has ever known. He did like my favorite movie of this last year, Election. He did my favorite movie of the year before that, Throwdown. All right, he's just the man. I thank you so much. And thank you so much for inviting me to the party. I really, really appreciate it. When the 2006 Asian Excellence Awards continue, Carrie Annie Naba and Harold Perrineau, Keiko Agena and Sharon Leal, plus a performance from the Broadway show Lemon. Stay tuned. Hollywood, home to Fast Gap, Sizzling Food, and Hot Stars. How traditional were your parents? They were at all times very aware that I was not like the other kids. Join Teddy Z as he serves you the inside dish. Dim Sum with Teddy Z. Only on AZN Television, the network for Asian America. To introduce our next performance, we have two beautiful and gifted women who've been ignoring me backstage all night long. Please welcome a great singer and actress currently filming Dream Girls, and for my money, the most talented and most Asian of the Kiltmore Girls, Sharon Leal and Keiko Agena. Imagine. That's what John Lennon asked us to do in his life, a remarkable life cut short far too soon. 
He called upon us to imagine a brotherhood of man. By his words and his deeds, Lenin stood against racism of all sorts, including the racism too often encountered by the woman he loved most dearly. In the past year, John Lennon's life and music came to Broadway in a multicultural show called Lennon, a musical that Yoko Ono helped bring to life. Nominated for Outstanding Live Performance tonight, this, this is, is Lennon. Lennon. from two of your favorite shows, from Dancing with the Stars, Carrie Annie Naba, and from Lost, Harold Perrineau. Thank you, my God. <laughs> <laughs> well, a couple thousand years ago, give or take a century, uh, Confucius said, wheresoever you go, go with all your heart. That's what uh, this year's nominees for Outstanding Live Performance did. They went amazing places and they went with all their heart. We've seen some wonderful performances tonight, and now the time has come to see who takes home the award. These are your nominees for Outstanding Live Performance. Outstanding Live Performance. 
Ka by Cirque du Soleil, MGM Grand Las Vegas. Lennon, original Broadway production. Lincoln Park, Live 8. And the Asian Excellence Award goes to... Oh, I don't know how to open this. I got this. <laughs> Here you go. I'm breaking it up. There you go. <laughs> Lincoln Park. <laughs> Accepting for Lincoln Park is Mike Shinoda and Joe Hahn. Um, I don't know what to say. It's beautiful. It's a really great honor. Thank you guys very much for supporting our band through the years. And um, um, actually, we've, I've gotten a lot of uh, great feedback on the song Kenji off of the Four Minor record. Um, which is about Japanese internment, and um, I want to thank everybody for giving us that support um, and my family for being a part of it. Anything else you want to say? No. All right. <laughs> thank you guys very much. Thanks to the fans. Thanks to you guys. Up next, the award for Outstanding Style Maker and Ralph Macchio with a special tribute to Pat Morita when the 2006 Asian Excellence Awards continue. Please welcome from the upcoming movie, The Bench Warmers, everybody's favorite Asian gigolo, Rob Schneider. Thank you very much. Well, I want you to know that my suit is made by an Asian designer, Hugo Boss. <laughs> Pretty sure he's Asian. Anyway, I want to congratulate all of you here at the Asian Excellence Awards. I, I've been here for two hours. I've only heard uh, 132 cell phones going off. <laughs> it's pretty good for uh, all of you. <laughs> These are the jokes, people. It's the first time I've been in a room with this many Asians and uh, no one started singing karaoke, so congratulations for that. Okay, a couple more. And I was excited to be invited to the Asian, um, to any uh, award show. But uh, the Asian award show, I mean, that kind of narrowed it down. I thought uh, I'd be maybe up or something, but nothing. Tell you what, next year uh, at the uh, Half Asian Award Show, I better get something or I'm going to be f pissed. Uh, uh, that's a pretty good one. I got to tell you, um, we need some more Filipinos in here. Any Filipinos in the house? Come on. There we go. Thank you. Two Dime Phillips. Salamat. Well, uh, anyway, uh, I got to tell you, it's tough uh, being an Asian... Uh, you know, in show business, it's tough. I mean, I'm going to start hiring uh, more Asians in my movies, or at least people who look Asian. <laughs> like David Carradine. <laughs> William Shatner. <laughs> um, our final style maker began as a runway model whose Japanese heritage and exotic beauty made her a favorite of designers everywhere. Now she's her own designer whose sexy style has made her company Baby Fat a worldwide phenomenon. Ladies and gentlemen, feast your eyes on the fashion of Kimora Lee Simmons.
I think it's going to be a pretty good after party. <laughs> All right, I'm going. Let's recap the nominees for Outstanding Style Maker. Josie Natori. Eugenia Kim. Kamora Lee Simmons. And the winner is Quentin, no, Kamora <laughs> Lee Simmons. Accepting for Kamora Lee Simmons is Vivica A. Foss. Hello, everyone. Um, I was so uh, introduced to the Asian community while filming Kill Bill. Uh, as Lucy can testify, we were tortured and, uh, <laughs> by Quentin for five to six months, but once we saw the film, it was absolutely beautiful and something that I will always be very proud of. So I salute the Asian community and all of your achievements. I am so very, very proud to stand before you and accept this award on behalf of my wonderful friend, Kamora Lee Simmons. She is a true fashionista. She has built a fashion empire. She has been such a wonderful friend and so supportive of every movie and television show that I produce. Whenever we need wardrobe, she is the very first call that we make and mama will dress you from head to toe. And she also gives out the best Christmas presents. Um, matter of fact, she dressed me tonight, so I thank her. Thank you for more, darling. <laughs> So on behalf of Kamora Lee Simmons, her incredible husband, her two beautiful daughters, and the entire staff from Baby Fat, we thank the AXA for this award. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ralph Macchio. Hey, good evening. Just for tonight, you can call me Dan. <laughs> Tonight we give thanks for Noriyuki Pat Morita, who we lost this past Thanksgiving. <laughs> Pat wasn't just a teacher and a friend, he was a master actor and a real pioneer in honoring celebrating and portraying the power and the beauty of Asian excellence. The truth is, Pat helped pave the way to a great night just like this one. It means a lot to me to be with you tonight because I know it meant a lot to Pat that he portrayed the Asian experience on screen with great dignity and love. From the first moment we were put together as Daniel and Mr. Miyagi, Pat and I just clicked. We both felt we had a unique and special magic together. We just had no idea it would still be resonating around the world even today. Pat put that big, beautiful heart of his into everything that he did, from thoroughly modern Millie to Happy Days to Milan, as well as a couple of karate movies with some Italian kid. <laughs> Pat was just the most generous, genuine, loving person. He taught me much more than, yes, wax on and wax off. There I said it. There I said it. He showed me more than I could say about acting and about life. With his quick-witted sense of humor, he always loved to make you laugh. I'll never forget the first time he met my family. That day, he took one look at us and said, as only he could, you darn Italians, you all look alike. <laughs> Pat, there was no one quite like you. Hello, America. Why'd you change your name? What change? I buy a restaurant, had a big sign, Arnold. Sign's very expensive. You know how many letters in Takahashi? <laughs> I 
Wax on, right hand. Wax off, left hand. Karate here. Karate here. Karate never here. Say goodbye in another language. Oh, sure. Adios, amigos. This is amazing. All of you. This is beautiful. Coming up, Tamlin Tamita and Jason Scott Lee present the award for Outstanding TV Male and a special performance you won't want to miss. All that and a tribute to Lucy Liu when the 2006 Asian Excellence Awards continue. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the featured soloist from the memoirs of a geisha score, Erhu Virtuoso Karen Hahn. Gentlemen, Jason Scott Lee and Tamlin Tamita. Tamlin, I'm so lucky to be presenting with you tonight at this Asian Excellence Awards. Dude, thanks, Jason. And how lucky I feel do I feel tonight, ladies? In addition to standing next to one of the most dashing gentlemen on the planet, I mm. get to present this. That's true. Yay, Lucy, yeah. Come on! The next bachelor? Here he is. No, <laughs> I get to present the next award to yet another winning fellow, the Outstanding TV Male Performer. Here are your outstanding nominees. Outstanding Male Television Performance. Naveen Andrews, Lost. Are you going to kill me? Sure. 
Let me shoot. Mark Paul Gosler, Commander in Chief. To start with, I'd like to know how you'd frame the base closure issue. To be honest, unless you're running, it's not going to matter what position you take on the bases. It's not going to matter what position you take on anything. Daniel Day Kim, lost. <laughs> BD Wong, Law and Order SVU. The treatment group meets tonight. You know how to read the set. Thank you. They're predators. They know how to read people. You're never going to fool them. <laughs> and the Asian Excellence Award for Outstanding Male Television Performance goes to... Right, I broke it. <laughs> Daniel Day Kim. Yay, Daniel! Wow, <laughs> thank you so much. This is, uh, this is amazing. Um, and Ralph Macchio, where are you? Do you know how many years I suffered being called Danielson because of you? <laughs> where are you? <sighs> no, I actually do have uh, people that I would like to thank. Um, I'd like to thank AZN and 2G for, um, for this award. And um, I applaud their efforts. Uh, the ACN network is, uh, is bold, it's brave, and it's timely, and uh, I wish it a lot of success. Uh, I'd also like to thank my family over at Lost, uh, <laughs> my, my fellow castmates, the writers, the producers, some of whom I've managed to drag out tonight. Thank you all for coming, and uh, I'd of course like to thank my wife, Mia. Um, you have always been and are my North Star. Thank you. Uh, and uh, lastly, I'd like to thank all of you in this room. There are so many people that I recognize, um, friends, people I've worked with, people I've admired, and uh, a lot of people that I respect. And uh, I think it's really important for all of us to be here together, encouraging each other and, and telling each other that this is the opening to a door that we need to step all the way through. And I really encourage all of us to do that. Thank you very much. Up next, Danny DeVito and Rhea Perlman honor Lucy Liu when the 2006 Asian Excellence Awards return. Remy Martin created the Remy Martin XO Honors to acknowledge the accomplishments and contributions of Asian Americans. This year's Remy Martin XO Honor for inspiration. This evening, Remy Martin salutes and congratulates the recipients of the 2006 Remy Martin XO Honors. Remy Martin Exo Visibility Award. Cheers. Our final presenters are, like many Asians, true overachievers. She's an award-winning actress, a children's book author, and a mother of three. He's an award-winning actor, producer, director, and one of the entertainment industry's biggest players. Here to present tonight's Remy Martin EXO Visibility Award, please welcome Rhea Perlman and Danny DeVito. This is really great. Well, we're so happy to be here to present the Visibility Award to our darling Lucy Liu because Lucy is one of our favorite human beings in the entire world. We, uh, we met Lucy in 1996. We were working on a show together and it was like a minute later she became a member of our family. I don't know if you guys know Lucy. That's just the way she is. She's warm and compelling, funny, and intelligent. She's also become the gold standard for strong, smart, sexy, slightly hysterical broads <laughs> <laughs> who can be wacky, ruthless, and are definitely not to be messed with. But 
audience is lover because uh, subliminally. <laughs> That's a tough word for me. You did good. You did good. They're feeling her sweet, open, welcome spirit. And that's what we feel when we spend Christmas mornings with her, sitting on the floor in silly pajamas, opening presents with our kids. She's like a sister to them, and uh, she's also an inspiration. Besides her amazing talent as an actress, she's a UNICEF ambassador. She speaks Chinese and Italian. <laughs> she plays the accordion for crying out loud. <laughs> oh, we're so happy. We're so happy to know you, Lucy. We love you. We love you so much. Yeah. Mm. Lucy Liu has always been a fighter. From the beginning of her career, she's fought boldly against Asian stereotypes in entertainment and came out a winner. This is Lucy Liu, perhaps the only good actress of the 21st century. At your service. In her earliest TV roles, Lucy carved a name for herself as an actress with extraordinary depth and intensity. But it was her scene-stealing performance as the evil Ling Wu on Ally McBeal that made her a household name. It's a soft name. Ling. You say it, Ling. It offends me. The role earned her an Emmy nomination and a legion of dedicated fans. Is that her? She's pretty. Lucy soon set her sights on the movies and caught the attention of audiences worldwide. I'll be a rescuer today. They have 50 armed men. I know, it hardly seems fair. On the big screen, Lucy showed off her gifts for both action and comedy and became the first Asian American superstar of the 21st century. Silly Caucasian girl likes to play with samurai swords. In Quentin Tarantino's Kill Bill, Lucy played the icy Oren Ishii and earned an MTV Movie Award for Best Movie Villain. Although she's proven herself as an action star, Lucy remains dedicated to her craft. In Three Needles, she gives one of her finest performances as a pregnant blood smuggler on mainland China. <laughs> Smart, glamorous, animated. Lucy Liu has single-handedly raised the profile of Asians in the media, and nobody does it better. coming all this way to present this award to me. Um, it was like a minute later, we were family, and I haven't been uh, apart from them since. I've spent all my holidays and all my special moments with them, and they've taken me in. Um, so I'm very pleased for them to be here. Uh, I'm standing here today because of the people who are fearless enough to cast creatively. Those whose courage to take risks continually inspire. They are the true pioneers who just don't try to, to make change, but the ones who, who make bold choices to reinvigorate how Americans see themselves and define themselves through the arts. <laughs> Growing up addicted to television and movies, um, there were limited role models that, I, that reflected my experience as an Asian American. And this sometimes, as well as I'm sure for a lot of people out there, left me feeling invisible and displaced and made the path that I am now seem even more unattainable. When I graduated from university and actually decided to pursue acting, it certainly wasn't my parents' first choice um, for a respectable career. They were not happy about it at all. Um, people warned me about the stereotypes, um, the roles that I would be auditioning for, the dry cleaners, the prostitutes, the various dim sum pushers out there. <laughs> 
Um, but strangely, knowing this information didn't make me feel less inclined to pursue acting. Instead, I realized uh, that it was an opportunity for me to um, make it an, an exciting challenge. So I decided that there was one thing that I needed to understand, and it was to make my intention very clear, absolutely clear, in fact. And, and that intention was simply to plant a seed of change. And the good news is, is that since I've started in this business, things have definitely gotten better. And we still have a long way to go. I think we, we all know that, um, but we're on this path together. And, but right now, there are more diverse reflections of the American experience in film and in television today. That being said, in my heart and in my lifetime, I look forward to the day where it's not considered a risk and it doesn't draw media attention to cast across color lines. Thank people like Quentin Tarantino, David Kelly, Lauren Michaels, people like that who have vision, who, who futurize and make things happen. It's really an honor to receive this award, especially from my peers and as a community um, to be supported. I truly believe we can be a positive force for change in the world and that we can help redefine what it means to be American, an Asian, and a human being. Thank you so much. <laughs>